I'll give you a clue, Poppy. Oh, I know, I know. We're going to a zoo, aren't we? No, not a zoo, but you're right in a way. I'll tell you, I'll give you some more clues. Um, go, 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 go. Oh, oh, are we going to a fish shop? You know, they're kind of fish and chips. Oh, lovely. I can... <laughs> no, 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 not a fish shop. Fish don't make noises like that, Poppy. I'll give you some more clues. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, I know, yes, I know. We're going to a you're absolutely right, Poppy. And we've arrived. Here we are. Hello. See if you can guess what some of the animals are. What do you think this is? I'll give you a clue. Meh. And that wasn't meant to be a sheep. What is he, Jessica? Billy Goat Gruff. A uh, Billy Goat Gruff. Do you know what this is? I'll give you a clue. Three of them built houses of bricks, straw and sticks. Mm. OK, William, do you know what it is? Three little pigs. Three little pigs, yes, that's right. That's a big, fat pig, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Can you guess what this is? A cow. That's right. It's a cow. Have you there? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, no. Ooh, I say, do you know who this is? Huh? It's Morris, the minor bird. Isn't it, Emma? Mm, yes. <coughs> now, this one's a bit like a horse, but it's got long ears. Mm. Do you know what it is, Christine? A donkey. A donkey. That's right. Can you guess what this is? It's not an animal, but you usually find one on the farm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a clue. <laughs> it's a tractor. Would you like a ride? Come on, let's do it. Down on the farm, riding on a bumpy tractor. Down on the farm, driving out into the fields, up in the clear blue sky, birds flying very high, hear the cockerel crowing in the morning on the farm. like somebody wants their breakfast. You got to start that one, Rosie. <laughs> put, the, put, put the bottle out. There you go. You've got to hold it really tight because they pull it very hard. Oh, what do we have here then? This is Tristian. Hello, Tristian. Soe lamb. They're fairly unusual because there's only about a thousand or so left. 
in this country of Surrey lambs. So we, we look after them here and... Uh... He's very hungry, isn't he, Rosie? Gosh, look at that. My goodness. <gasps> Sucking These away are, on that. These are both about seven weeks old now mm. and we'll carry on feeding them until they're about three months. Why do you have to use a bottle? Why do you have to use a bottle? Well, the mothers had uh, two lambs each and because they're a fairly rare breed, we took one of the lambs away, which is the smallest one, uh, and then we feed it, and the mother then has more milk to feed the, uh, the older uh, lamb. Well, they're and, certainly uh, enjoying that. We their... can make sure they grow up to be big and strong. Yes, gosh, you, no, no fear of that. Look at that. Well, yeah, All going. farm animals have to be looked after very carefully. They have to be made sure they're given food and water and made sure that no harm comes to them. In some countries, children look after some of the animals too. This is Tanjalani. He looks after some goats. Here are the goats, and he's letting them out to get something to eat. He blows his pipe this way. The goats follow. Come on. Oh, the goats are slowing down. That was the way, otherwise you're going to get run over. Oh, I'm so slow. I think we're settled down here. Tangelani's still playing his pipe, and the goats tuck in some tasty grass. Mmm. Now that is a dung beetle. Ooh. Tangelani carries on playing his pipe, and there's the dung beetle doing a bit of a dance. I think I'll settle down as well, says Tangelani. If they're going to eat, I'm going to have something to eat too. Always keeping an eye on the goats, because it's very important that none of them go astray. <laughs> because there are naughty people like this hyena about. Now you've got to go away, hyena. Tangelani frightens the hyena away. OK, I'll get the point. Dear, it's been a long day already. Oh, oh no! Tangelani's fallen asleep and the hyena's coming back again. Oh no! One of the baby goats has gone astray. Fortunately, Tangelani's woken up. He's noticed that he's missing. But where is he? Found some dung, so he's able to follow the trail as to where he might be. Hmm, this way. Oh no, there's the poor lonely kid. Help, help. <gasps> there's the hyena again. Tangelani must find the goat before the hyena does. Frighten away the hyena and rescue the kid. Oh, well done. Oh, he's very pleased with himself. So now Tangelani can return the kid to the mother. Oh, thank you very much. I think we're safe here, no hyenas. But we're on the farm and we need some animals. Have you seen any ducks? Yeah. yeah. Whereabouts were they? In the barn. In the barn. Should we make some more? Yeah. yeah. I tell you what, let's make some finger puppet ducks. And all we need are these ping pong balls to do that. There you go, there's a ping pong ball for you, Christina, and another one for you, Howard. Now, what you need to do is to make a hole in a ping pong ball. Get a grown up to do that, so ours are already what, done. Eye? Eyes, Christine, you know what we're doing. We need to draw on some eyes. And what we do, take a pen or a crayon and draw on some big eyes. 
just like that. Draw them on. Fantastic. What else do we need? A beak. A beak, so that the duck can go. And then the wings. And, and then the wings. wings. Well, let's do the beak first. I'm going to put a little bit of sticky tape onto the ping pong ball there, ready for the beak. Now, we've been eating off these lovely yellow plates. And what we've done is we've cut some triangle shapes like that, which can be folded over to make the beak. <laughs> what noisy ducks we have. And we stick the beak on like that, and we're almost there, aren't we? Let me give you some sticky tape. There's some for you, for your one, Dale. And there's some for you, Christine. Put on yours. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Very sticky tape. And some more for you, Howard. There you are. You got it. <laughs> the next thing we need are some wings for our duck. You're right. Now, I've got some doilies that we were eating from, so I'll give you a little bit of doily each. I've torn a little bit of doily off, Do just I about a quarter. Put it there? That's right, you put it on your finger Ta -da! and then you put the ping pong ball on top. Very good. Howard, that is fantastic. You're getting on with your Dale. Can I borrow yours? Yep. Can I borrow yours? And can I borrow yours, Christine? Well, there we are. We have three little ducks. I think we should do a little rhyme. Can you help me with this? Yeah. Here we go. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And two of the ducks came swimming back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, quack, quack. quack. And only one came swimming back. We better carry on so we can get them back. Here we go. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, quack, quack. And three little ducks came swimming back. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross To see a fine lady upon a white horse With rings on her fingers and bells on her toes She shall have music wherever she goes This little piggy went to market This little piggy stayed at home This little piggy had roast beef And this little piggy had none And this little piggy went Me, 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 me the way home. Bar, bar, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. This is Joe the donkey. He's going to be in our story today. The story is about a king, a queen, a dairy maid and a cow. So he's going to have to be a good actor. <laughs> I'm going to play the king and Joe is going to play the cow. It's called The King's Breakfast. I better go and find my dairy maiden queen. The king asked the queen and the queen asked the dairy maid, could we have some butter for the royal slice of bread? The queen asked the dairy maid. The dairy maid said, certainly. I'll go and tell the cow now before she goes to bed. The dairy maid, she curtsied and went and told the Alderney, don't forget the butter for the royal slice of bread. The Alderney said sleepily, you'd better tell his majesty that many people nowadays like marmalade instead. The dairy maid said fancy and went to her majesty. She curtsied to the queen and she turned a little red. Excuse me, your majesty, for taking off the liberty, but marmalade is tasty if it's very thickly spread. The Queen said, oh, and went to His Majesty. Talking about the butter for the royal slice of bread, many people say that marmalade is nicer. Are you sure you wouldn't like a little bit of marmalade instead? The King said, bother, and then he said, oh, dearie me. The King said, oh, dearie me, and he went back to bed. 
Nobody, he whimpered, could call me a fussy man, but I only want a little bit of butter on my bread. The Queen said, there, there, and went to the dairymaid. The dairymaid said, there, there, and went to the shed. The cow said, there, there, I really didn't mean it. Here's milk for his porringer and butter for his bread. The Queen took the butter and brought it to his majesty. The King said, butter, eh, and bounced out of bed. Nobody, he said, as he kissed her tenderly. Nobody, he said, as he slid down the banisters. Nobody, my darling, could call me a fussy man, but I do like a little bit of butter on my bread. Can you remember any of the animals we've seen today? Well, let's sing about them. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Bill, that means it's time to go. If you go to the countryside, look out for as many animals as you can and listen to the noises they make. We'll see you soon. Bye! Oh, that was a great song, wasn't it? That was great, except they forgot. Uh, MacDonald had an aardvark. Yeah, 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 no, no, there is no aardvark. There's no aardvark. Oh, there's right, no aardvark. Okay, okay, okay. Stay tuned to Children's BBC because the birthdays are next. Mm -hmm.